Good morning, friends. It's Miss Rents, and I have Bailey with me. She probably won't stay because she's been chasing bumblebees around the backyard all day. But we are going to read, there she goes, The Foolish Tortoise Today by Eric Carle. A tortoise tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go, took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed. Though faster he was not express, and his protection was far less. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past, he looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak behind the knees. I don't feel safe, there's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the river bed. A fish swam up, the tortoise fled. Along his way, our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped up googly-eyed. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending branches in the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight, he climbed back in and said, good night. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I miss you guys bunches and I hope to see you soon. I love you all.